Today's video is showing you how to download and install MCC Command Center for Sims 4. So MCC Command Center is a mod that helps you change all kinds of settings within Sims 4. Uh, there will be more tutorials on what exactly you can do with it, but first things first, let's download and install it. You'll go ahead and search for MCCC Sims 4, and you'll want to find this Deaderpool MCCC link and it should be the first one, but if it's not, find this debtor pool link. And once you get there, you'll want to go to this tab right here where it's MCCC downloads. And you'll go to the most recent release in most cases. So it'll pop up depending on which browser you're using. It'll pop up where your downloads pop up. Um, if you don't know where that is or you don't see a pop-up, you can always go down to your file explorer and your ta taskbar and open that up and find it in your downloads. So here is this MC Command Center zipped compressed file. In order to be able to use this, you'll need to extract it. So you'll right click on it. Nope. You'll right click on it and you'll hit the button that says extract all. This window will pop up where it's telling you, okay, these files would be ex will be extracted to this place. As you can see right here, it's going to my downloads, which is this file that I'm already in. So we'll extract it there so it's easy to find. And then once this new usable file folder has been created, we will go ahead and click on it and hit control C to copy the file or copy the folder. And then you'll want to find where your game files are stored. For my game files, they are under documents, electronic arts, the Sims 4. And then once you're in your Sims 4 folder, you'll either have this mods folder right here or you'll want to create one by going to this new folder icon and you'll name it mods. Um, so you'll go into either the file you create or the one that's already there that says mods. And then you're going to want to hit control V to paste this usable MC command folder. Now, I feel like I used to be able to use it just as is once I paste it into my mods folder. However, that doesn't seem to be the case anymore. So you'll want to click it, double click it, open it up, and you have all of these script files. So you'll want to highlight all the script files because we're moving them back into the mods folder instead of this MC command folder. So you'll highlight all of them by clicking and dragging You'll hit control C to copy them. You'll click back to this mods folder and hit control V to paste them in the mods folder. So those should be usable now. However, you do want to make sure that you're going and finding the MC command center folder within the mods folder that you that you just pasted. Um, a few steps ago and you're going to want to delete that so that it doesn't confuse your game where it's looking for your mods. So all you'll do is you'll click on it and you'll hit the delete button on your keyboard and these script files for MC Command Center will be left over and you'll be able to use it in your game. The next thing you'll want to do to ensure that this mod and other mods work properly is to launch your game and head on over to your options. Down here on the bottom right side, you'll find game options. You'll find this other tab. And you'll want to make sure that both of these boxes are clicked. Um, so they enable custom content and mods and script mods allowed. So if you check them, if they're unchecked and you check them, it will prompt you to restart your game. You'll go ahead and do that. You'll hit apply changes, restart your game. 
The next part of ensuring that you have properly installed your mod is loading into your game. And once you've loaded into your game, you may see this, um, this pop up. It'll say, welcome to MC Command Center. It'll be in your notification wall. If you don't see that, that doesn't mean you did it wrong. It could just be pushed out by other notifications. The other way to see if you have done it correctly is to click on a sim. And once you click on a sim, you will see MC Command Center if you've installed your mod properly. If you have done something incorrectly, that won't show up. It's not like one of those things where it's like, it's showing up, but it's not working. Um, so the other way to see that prompt is to click on a computer. So you'll see that on the computer when you click it, it looks like this. But when you click on a SIM and click MC Command Center, it looks like this. The reason they look different is when you click on a SIM and use the MC Command Center option, you'll have less options for tweaking your game settings than if you were to go to your computer. Uh, there are a great deal more options here. So that is installing MC Command Center. Uh, oh, ignore this little bubble up here because I did go ahead and reset my household size, but you won't see that. Um, but yeah, so if this helped you install your mods, uh, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, let me know in the comments if there are settings that you would like a tutorial or tips on using, and I will make videos about that. All right. Bye.